Hi and welcome to my tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a car crash into some boxes using a uh, reactor. Okay, so firstly make a plane as the ground. Uh, make it about that big. Now select box and make the box as the car. Now, select box again, and make the boxes, which is going to crash into. Make them by 50, 50 by 50. There we go. Um, make it a bit smaller. Well, actually a lot smaller. And what we're going to do is uh, move it up a bit. It can't touch the plane, the ground, because um, if it does, it just go uh, berserk in uh, when you preview it. Okay, so now we're just going to make heaps of boxes. So shift click and make sure the boxes don't touch each other, and make about ten. Okay, now select all the boxes except one. Uh, shift click and send them up a bit. There we go. On top of each other. There we go. Uh, hopefully that's not too high. High up. That is a bit high, so pull it down a bit. About there. Uh, do it again until as high as it goes. One more, I won't go too high. Okay. Um, let's. Okay, so now we're going to click on uh, Rigid Body Collection and select Add. Uh, select them all and, yeah, select them. Um, now, select the plane, the ground, and it's not going to weigh anything because it's inactive and it must be concave mesh for it to work. Now select the boxes. They will be each way 1 kilo each um, and bounding box. Uh, yeah, that's all. Now for the car, it will weigh about 50 kilos doesn't really matter do it how much you want um, and it must be unyielding uh, so we can keyframe it now okay so now select the box or the car whatever you want to call it and select auto key go to your last frame and uh, move the box towards the boxes. Yeah, behind the boxes. Okay, so it's a bit slow. Um, no, that'll do. That'll do. And now, now go to utilities. Uh, select reactor and go down to tolerance and just put one down and that should be it um, and go to the z-axis of gravity and make it 9800 minus 9800 there we go um, so it's all realistic okay um, now go to preview animation there's no errors or anything so just go continue okay now um, press P 
and box yeah. yeah it's pretty slow yeah I might speed up the uh, the car to about 50 frames yeah that's bad okay that's good um yeah anyway um you can put as many boxes as you want, depending how good your system is, your computer is. Because um, it'll lag heaps if you put too many boxes. Anyway. Uh, we can now... We can actually create the animation now. So, go to Reactor and Create Animation should be fine, um, yeah, it's all good, yep, so let's uh, create the animation, and it should only take a little while, yeah, that was quick, and now you can actually see in the viewport that it uh, crashes into it, yeah, okay, so now, um, there is a problem, as it, uh, as you can see, it uh, swivers before the car actually hits it. Um, so, select all the boxes and see how long it takes, what frame it, it hits it on. Okay, we'll select that frame, frame 29. So, we'll delete everything before 29, every keyframe. There. So it won't move until the car actually hits it. It's good. Okay. I think that's about all. I hope you've learned something. Bye.